guys, Girl Blind Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Rick. I'm Calvin. I'm Aaron. And we're here with the penultimate episode of Fate Zero. Last time on, we lost War Santa. Yeah. Right. But we will not lose him but in our did. hearts. He will inspire us to dream, to subjugate others, and take over the world. I think not. Is not that what Santa is to you? I mean, what else is he? He's got those elves. Like He's a fascist, is what he presents is. Presents and stuff. He gives everyone yeah, he candy. coal. He gives coal. But he gives everyone. He gave me nothing but coal. That's because you were bad. Bullshit. Industrialist. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we also had. Um, Lantern Kart. Berserker. Yeah, that fight happening. We have uh, uh, Kire and Kuretsugu. Well, Ryder. We didn't have keep Lancer. saying Lancer because of Lancelot. I keep getting yeah. it. Lancelot should have been Lancer. That that would have I wouldn't have been as confused. That would have been pretty good. But yeah. Unfortunately, that's not the case, and you Saber look bad. and Berserker yeah. are berserking. Yep. Rick, not the Berserker, Rick wants. Soon! Surprised Gilgamesh is still there. Why? I guess he doesn't need a master. Like, does he have a new master right now? Mm. Like, did someone, like, did Waver just get I him? think that I he mean, just can't provide he, any more mana, so once he uses it up, yeah. he's out. He doesn't just automatically go to the next caster. Like, well, caster was still going around after uh, Ryutsuke Ry- 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 yeah. had died. Yeah. And, so, and, and but, like, but caster was also... Yomi, and then, like, he had a conversation with Gilgamesh... You know, it, it doesn't just automatically happen. He just doesn't refill his mana. Caster, yeah. I believe, was getting most of his mana from the book, right? Is that correct? Um, he had cast a magic which was, which the the being, the creature mm-hmm. that he had created was eating the life force. Yeah. And, and thus it was fueling itself. Like it was trying to find its own renewable resource, pretty much. Yeah. And it wouldn't be able to be stopped. But yeah, man, I just... <sighs> I love Kuritsugu, I love his character. But I mean, is the Holy Grail was it implying that it was just gonna kill everybody to give him what he wants? It was gonna Like It was gonna use his same logic yeah. on a global scale. Yeah. Like Like pretty much everyone if there will is, eventually. If there's will die. 100 people in danger and uh-huh. you can save 51 of them, yeah. it will kill 49 to save those 51. Yeah, yeah eventually he'll sacrifice the few to get the many, but you keep He'll doing do it so that many times that until only one is left. The few yeah. over many iterations will become the many, and that makes sense to him. But I mean, this idea that like, well, I'll I'll destroy all evil by wiping out the evil people. Well, people can be driven to a bad act, but one that's self-serving. You know, like yeah. we'll we'll capture you. You do it over saving them, and thus they become the people that he has to wipe out. Yeah, if you destroy the evil brother of a good brother. Now he has hate in his heart because his brother's dead. And now you got to destroy him, him too. So you have to kill him, and it's just like in Dwarf Fortress. Once one of them goes insane, you have to. You don't even start about the cat. And the guy <laughs> cleanse the mind. <laughs> I wonder if if Kira actually did get the Grail and asked what he wanted to ask. If he doesn't know, the Grail might not be able to reveal it. He needs to have maybe. some kind of human like. It needs to be able logic. to understand itself. Maybe I don't know. That's kind of how I took it. Like. It didn't have, like, he was like, well, there's got to be a, re- a way to do it without all these terrible things, right? And it's like, no. It's just, you got it's got to make sense to you. He was going to try to use the grail to trick Kiritsugu, right? Like, that, that was what he was doing there? Because he was like, why didn't you take it? But he, instead, he killed his family, right? That was a Kire thing, wasn't it? I felt like it was a Holy Grail thing. Yeah, I think that was a Holy Grail thing. I think he was because denying the was Grail. Saying, like, why didn't you take the deal? The Grail was saying, like, that's hey, what you wanted. I'll do all these things, and as a freebie, you get your wife and your child, you know? Um, and then he denied that by saying, I don't want this, and now he's off to just destroy the Holy Grail before it destroys, it grants his wish. I That's is what I got from it. Yeah, that's what I got, too. But it also has its own wish. Interestingly, yeah, it yeah. wants to come into being, be birthed into the world, but it can't do that on its own. So it's it's very much like a genie that you can free with your third wish, you know. In but that, you only get way, one, maybe. <laughs> but you only get one. <laughs> I mean, it wanted to be birthed as like it said, like I, I am 
the, I don't know, I am truly her persona, right? Yeah. So I am her, but I'm also this. I don't know. Well, in her last wish, what was her wish? Her wish was for Kurosugu to get his wish. Yeah, yeah. To fulfill his. Yeah. Because now he no longer wishes. No. It's just that he had this belief that, like, there's a way of getting what I want. And the Grail's pretty much telling him, the only way to get what you want is to continue to do what you've been doing, but on a global, gigantic scale. Yeah. I can do that for you. You want that? There's a massive, like, Mm. gotcha that the Grail can't do anything that you cannot fully visualize and imagine. Yeah. Like, you can't just say, create a perfect, um, like, system of criminal justice. Mm Mm-hmm. Well... You know, if you can't imagine one, then it it can't it, it fulfill could, your yeah. wish. It could just be like a monkey's paw, where like, okay, well, in your head, I find that the perfect uh, criminal justice system is one in which criminals never get away. Thus, I execute everybody that's arrested, and then make a judge dread or something. Yeah, <laughs> or a minority report where people yeah. were judged before they commit the crime. And it's not, it's not necessarily something that you wanted. It's just that you had the idea of this utopia without actually designing how the society works. I, mean, I feel like a good place to start would be like a demilitarization of yeah. everything. Like shut down all the gun factories. Like if, if the Grail could do that and destroy and remove all weapons on the earth. What kind of would chaos would that cause? Help for a while, maybe. I mean, it uh, would help for all of a day until some guy uses a rock to, to cut a tree down and make a spear. Uh, and and it, he didn't even kill his wife with a weapon he just choked her till she died yeah. you know I mean, it's like anything not a matter be a weapon it's not a matter yeah, of weapon. you can use a hammer you but can... I mean the scale is a lot less mm, I don't know I mean, people have been fighting since before a lot of stuff you know I mean to be fair like in the UK they don't have they don't have evil. firearms there's a lot I think of that's the biggest issue with that the weapon isn't creating the evil mm-hmm. it's just an avenue to make it more efficient excessive yeah <laughs> yeah it's like in the UK, they have a ban on guns. There's way more stabbing, but less people die from stab wounds as they do gunshot wounds. Yeah. So like with his with his thing, like you might not solve the killing and stuff because it would still happen, but mm-hmm. maybe more survive it, or maybe it happens less, but it still doesn't solve it because there's no way to solve it. No, it's pretty much it was going to kill everyone. If only he was Doctor Manhattan and could envision an alien coming in and uniting. All people of the earth. Yeah. Then he would have fixed it. Done. Maybe. Should have created a giant vagina monster. Sure. Yeah. That would have caused peace for a long time. Yeah. <sighs> uh, the fight between Kuritsugu and Karia, I wish it lasted as long as any fight from Naruto. <laughs> yeah. I kind of wish that we would have seen a little bit more of the Berserker Saber fight. Me too. Yeah. That was also cool, but. Yeah. As much as I liked that for its, you know, like the the chemistry between Arthur and Lancelot and that deep history, I just loved the staging and choreography and thought process put into the Karia yeah. Karatsugu. Sure. So, like, I could watch that all day, every day. Kirei. Kirei in Karatsugu, yeah. So, speaking of Karia. Yes. Did he die I when think, yeah. Berserker needed to use the last of his mana? Yeah. Well, I, yeah, so which one died first? I think. I saw him slump over. I think, yeah, we did, but I think Karia was just sitting there as he was seeing that vision of soccer, like, what am I fighting for for this? I think he eventually just, the just magic used, just, it killed him. He just lasted as long as he could. And then because he died, Lance, Lance a lot, was not able to use any more mana and couldn't dodge the, the Maybe. thing. That's how it, it, it came across to me. The sound also happened, and then we saw him slump over too. Yeah. And then it cut over to seeing the sword through Lance a lot. Yeah. So it, it could have been that once he got stabbed... You then had him like the massive since drain he of had mana. no need for anything. The only thing he was doing was trying to power him with his mana. He was just like, "Well, now I'm done. There's nothing else for me to do." Yeah. So he just died. Maybe because like you know, he did. He may be just in a coma or some shit. I can I, I can get behind like there's because of the magic and what it's done to his body. He's much lower, more likely to succumb to any kind of negative effect of losing your your servant. But mm-hmm. to me, it feels like the other way around. It feels like he just was holding on as long as possible, and then as he was realizing the things, like, this doesn't make any sense, I can't do anything. I think he just gave up, and that whatever that magic was that he's been fighting for how many years just took its toll. 
And yeah, I can see that. Lancelot didn't yep. have anything left. I think it makes me think the other way is just the timing of the sound. Effect. I understand. Yeah. Because yeah. at first it was the close-up shot and it was the it was the splutch. Yeah. And then he slumped over. Made you think, like, oh, did he get stabbed? Like, how did he get stabbed? And then it cut over to And the, you cut over to see yeah. her, yeah. Did Kurisugu have to use two seals to order Saber, like, in order to get her to do it? Or does he need to make there no seals left so that the Grail can be destroyed? Hmm. Maybe. Honestly, I kind of saw it as, like, this is so important to him, he wasted another. Just to show this is how fucking serious I am. Well, and she was also fighting it, too. Yeah. Right? So, like, maybe that, like, it, her Excalibur started up. Yeah, it started up without like her, fighting like, fighting it. Yeah. And he's like, do this. It was just, like, really pushing that she, she has to do it. Double the command seals, double the power, forcing her to do it. Like, yeah. maybe there is a, a slim, slim chance somehow if your servant has enough willpower, they can resist the command seal. So just to cover his base, he does it twice. <laughs> yeah. Well, also maybe based on Kirei's mana from the seals yeah. that he was using for that, maybe there's something to be said where, like, if he does it twice, maybe it pushes more to where yeah. maybe there's more power behind her attack or something. I don't know. I feel like maybe Lancer not. would have resisted a little bit. Yeah, maybe. His command seal. Yeah. No, I agree. Yeah, uh, maybe it is a but matter of... it might of also be against that. Arturia's nature more mm-hmm. than... It was against Dermods. Maybe. I loved the idea that uh, that Karia was using the mana from the command seals that he had yeah. gathered rather than his own. That yeah. was really cool. Yeah, it was really smart. Like, it was such a fantastic way to get around that, so he had to choose when he was firing his specific bullets. So uh, if the girl was destroyed, that destroys Artoria and Archer as well, right? Uh... Maybe yeah. There I assume if they them, right? I assume I so. if they still can gather mana, they can still exist. Maybe I don't know. I don't know what the rules because are. Because I think they're, I think the Grail decides. They're they're spirits of the Grail. But they're the taken from like, a place that exists, right? So aren't they taken from? I don't like Valhalla or uh, I don't think so, because they're. I don't know. I feel like there's like the realm of heroes or something like they've given it a name before, like that's where they come from. I feel like it's implied, especially because Arthur was actually female, i.e., not what her normal legend is. That they were all real at one point. They just come with the Along noble phantasm, which is their legendary thing that they, you know, yeah. like, like if someone summoned Muhammad Ali. But he came and he had fucking, like, butterfly wings. <laughs> you know? It'd be like that. <laughs> <laughs> and it stinks. I don't know why that came into my head, but it's like that. I think it's, it's kind of like that. He, he, he has a stinger under his short. Yeah. Oh, that would just, he would just have boxing gloves that were his noble phantasm. Well, but... And it would be... I'm just saying, like, what's the legend like behind it? Be. Well, yeah. but... No, that's not right. Because the legend behind Arthur is that Arthur's a man. Yes. But what actually came was a woman. Yes, because Arthur the woman really existed. Yes. But the legend, i.e. I. The, the the sword and the sheath and her noble phantasm is the is the legend part. Like I don't think that she could do that necessarily in her real life. I think that's the noble phantasm. I think. Although there was that one hill that she was on with all those dead people surrounding her. That's probably well, every Tuesday just, for her. Like Ryder I don't know. <laughs> like Ryder can't teleport people into Another yeah, Ryder really yeah. conquered people, and his noble phantasm is this fantastic army that he created. But I don't think he can. I don't think in his lifetime he could create reality marbles and shoot them into this fake desert. You know, hmm. like Gilgamesh was this fantastic king and had all these treasures. But this Gilgamesh's noble phantasm is he has every treasure that will ever exist. You know, I I, I don't know. That's just kind of how I've I've taken the whole show from. Ne- at this point? Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's inspecific enough to take creative freedoms. Yeah, which I enjoy. There's a lot of room to to wonder. The, the only thing here now with this Holy Grail thing, it like especially with it wanting to bring life to itself, like, well, what happened all the other previous wars? Like, how did they finish and it not birth itself into existence or it does it and then it goes away or you know like Karia uh, not Karia uh, Kurutsugu said this is not divine this is not the thing that we were promised you know so 
Does this happen every 60 years where, like, they get to the end, they realize, oh, shit, this isn't worth it at all? I mean, I figure it's got to work at some point. I don't know. I imagine they're much greedier once, and the Maybe. wishes are much more of, like... Specific. Power for the family, yeah. money, wealth, yeah. you know, family, whatever. Like, something more specific to myself. Like, if I was like, I want $2.4 trillion, yeah. and it's going to be like, all right, but I'm going to... Take it from these 300 people, <laughs> you know, or something yeah, like that. Like there's only so much that it can do, but yeah. if it's more specific rather than just like, I want peace in the world, that's a much more vast thing that, like, how do you figure that? Yeah. Like, I don't know. But they, the, the chows could rob banks and give you the money. And then the, the grill itself, too, is this gateway to, you know, whatever the hell the root is, which I don't, I don't know if Kurosugu cares about the root. He just wants his wish. Yeah, like, would Tokyo, I mean, if he had won, yeah. he would have gotten what he wanted? Because he, he, he couldn't would have find the route without the grail. Yeah. And the grail can only give you what you could get normally. Yeah. But just at a grander scale. Well, is it a well, wish or is it a ritual that leads him to the, to the route? I think what he was wanting was immortality so that he could study long enough to f- discover the route. Wasn't that what it was? I mean, they did say is that the thing? Grail is the pathway, the portal to the root. Yeah. I know that. But maybe it was just a poetic way of saying that there is a pathway and the Grail could tell me what it is. Because previous casters have tried to find the root, mm-hmm. but they've always, at least from what I'm remembering from what Tokiomi was saying, like they've yeah. always died before reaching Achieving it. it. And, I mean... That's the same thing that Kuritsuku's dad was working on, right? Yeah. Like, he was looking for a way to extend to life. To achieve immortality. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure that viewers that are watching are screaming at their phones or their desktops, like, no, they said this, you know, but I imagine with this show, we're going to be, you know, most likely going into the next series, and because it has that, like, well, you should watch this one first, no, this one first, we'll probably cover some of this ground again and get some more clear thoughts on what exactly it is. Well, I know, like... Well, I'll react to the visual novel. Before, yeah. I was I was curious, too, on, like, well, with this being, like, a prequel, what does the, you know, what does Blade Works have involved with it? Because, it, like, could there be a Holy Grail War in there at all? Or could this be the last of the Holy Grail Wars? And what we've seen in there is the aftermath of, like, if the Grail does get des- destroyed, yeah. like... Do we go and see other things then? And this is what the world's like. Well, and, I mean, it was created at one point, right? So if it was destroyed here, can they just recreate it again? Well, I mean, who created it? It was the wizards. Is it from long ago that they were they were fighting and killing each other, and and then they created the Holy Grail War so that like every so often they would have this war game. It's a proxy war, right? The, the, yeah, the proxy war. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure if it was if but, it appeared as a result of their actions or if it was created by them. Yeah, but like, yeah, was was the war for the Holy Grail? I feel like it was created by them because it's not uh, what did what did Kiritsugu say? Like, it wasn't it wasn't like celestial. Because I mean, what they might have done is it might have been that they were warring over this Holy Grail to have ownership for it, and then eventually they decide, look, let's just do this. Every 60 years, and we can have wishes from it, let's have a battle between seven... So it's like ancient, like, indigenous Canadians are fighting over the Stanley Cup, and then they create the National Hockey League in order to stop the wars. Yeah, otherwise they were just warring forever, trying to have ownership of this Of the Stanley Cup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then eventually they came up with, like, okay, well, let's do it this way. That way we're not just killing people all the time. Maybe that's it. I don't want to... Three first families summoned the Holy Grail. Yeah. Well, what's that? It doesn't mean they created it, though. Yeah. What does right. that have to do with Canadians? But it could be something that maybe they thought they were getting the Holy Grail, but maybe it was something else that is more sinister. Well, I don't know. we will make sure that we're not just making shit up and coming up with our own headcanon by watching the next series. Which I like will probably, it'll, it'll probably just explain it again for us, too. Nice Plus, I don't think it really explained walk. much. Like, we're just, this is just what people have assumed, right? He assumed that he was going to get to this miracle, and then they got there, and it was like, fucking no. I'm just, not a miracle. Keep doing the shit you do. I'll just help that. Yeah, if, if anyone knew the real nature of it, no one said anything. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll be interested to see, like, how this wraps up, and then, yeah. If, you know, getting a chance to go into, like, the sequel thing. Yeah. It'd be cool to see, like, 
what happens there if characters here really fall over if yeah. there's only a little bit of overlap how different it is yeah but it could be a I, thousand years in the future I think it all starts here with the next episode of being like does the grail actually get destroyed mm-hmm. or does like Gilgamesh stop it or something yeah. or what happens I, I also just I wanted to point out like how much I loved that the grail was using his past Kuritsugu's like the beach the town but it's empty the father you know like I loved that it was just like it felt so intimate and violating at the same time that I knew him so well, you know? Yeah. So, I don't know. I don't know what the grail is. I don't know who brought it here. I don't know what wizards or Canadians had to do with it. Have we ever heard of another family receiving a miracle? Uh, the Gretzkys. I don't know of anyone else receiving a miracle. No, I don't think so. We don't know. If, I mean, we don't even know. Maybe, we don't know shit. Maybe the, the pile of um, Iris that mm-hmm. we see. Yeah. Maybe it's all of the previous wars where they fought and fought and fought mm-hmm. and then they decided no, like yeah. the Holy Grail wish is not what we want for humanity and stuff and they yeah, they right. destroy the Grail Could be. this well, round. I don't, know what the, I don't know what the wishes have been but we've had them before. I mean they must have continued where they weren't like well this is ridiculous and we must destroy the Grail or nothing but the the her being those bodies, I'm pretty sure was just a a sign of like the different vessels needed to make the Holy Grail appear. Now, I felt like there were hundreds of those bodies, and it's only been going on for 200 years. I think it was just showing how disposable she is. Maybe 200 years. 200 years ago, three first families summoned the Holy Grail. Yeah, divide that by 60. It ain't much. It's 70. It's every 70 years, isn't it? 60, 60 I think. 60? I think 60 right. I think it's so. Still not, Unless I'm fucking wrong. It's still not round to, to 60 years. Well, they probably skipped the first one. And then they were like, well, sometimes being like, hey guys, there's a pandemic, can we postpone? They probably had like 40 of those years and they were warring until they decided to do this shit. Yeah. Maybe. So it's only happened like four times. Twice? We've had a lot of assumptions. I don't know if we've landed on any good answers. Or real answers, or wrong answers. Maybe they were all correct, all at the same time. Like the Gretzky's? Guys, hope you enjoyed this reaction to Fate Zero. Go over to patreon.com slash blindwave, where you can find the finale right now, if you are so interested. And uh, other fantastic stuff there as well. Uh, check out us on Twitch, where we play games nearly every single day. Twitch.tv slash blindwave. Uh, this was a game, and we play games. There's a connection. 